Hey, welcome back to Type 5 Reviews. I just finished setting up our pool, and after upgrading to the sand filter system by Intex, the water is looking crystal clear. But to keep it that way, I'll have to stay on top of the chemicals. And if you've had a pool for any period of time, you'll know that maintaining it can sometimes feel like a full-time job. Fortunately, this year, IO Pool has sent me out their Echo Smart Water Monitoring System to test out so I can spend more time in the pool than maintaining it. So let's open it and set it up, and I'll let you know what I think about the system after I've used it for a while. So here we have the Echo Premium Kit. Uh, it comes with the Echo Smart Sensor that's going to go in the pool, a connect system that communicates with the sensor, uh, and that will connect to our Wi-Fi so that we can receive uh, notifications on our phone. I see that we got a couple of test strips here to get things set up a start guide as well as a uh, measuring cup to dispense uh, any of the chemicals that we may need for the pool. Uh, if you buy any of their chemicals, um, they use this specific measuring cup. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll open up the actual smart sensor here and take a look. Uh, the actual uh, connect here Looks like it has a little antenna that we can screw in to the, the unit itself. Uh, I need to connect this to a power supply near the pool that's within 30 feet. Uh, so you'll probably have to connect this uh, to the same power supply that your pump is actually connected to. Uh, we'll see if we can find a spot near the pool that can connect that. I believe my Wi-Fi should reach out to the pool well enough, but that could be an issue um, and something to consider if you're looking into a system like this. You have to have power near the pool to plug this in and you have to have Wi-Fi signal going out to that. I'll also try to test this possibly um, with my nearest outlet in the home, but I don't know if it'll necessarily be close enough to connect to this. I think it communicates Bluetooth to this receiver and then this receiver goes to the Wi-Fi. So this has to be rather close to the pool to communicate to the actual probe itself. So we'll go ahead and download the app and see if there's any other specific instructions uh, to follow here before we get started. But so far, so good. The first time you open up the app, you'll be prompted to set up your pool. I'll be using chlorine for my pool, but IO Pool also just released their new Echo Start salt monitor that works in saltwater pools as well. Most of the setup in the app is pretty straightforward, but you'll want to know ahead of time how many gallons of water your pool holds and your pump rate since the app will suggest chemicals based on your pool size. Once the pool's set up, you'll then connect your Echo monitor to the app. Following the steps to get it to connect was easy. Just note that the monitor sensors are shipped with liquid stored in the cap. That's because the sensors need to stay wet, so be ready to place it in the pool once you've removed and replaced the bottom cap. The gateway also connected really quickly to my Wi-Fi, but note that it does require a 2.4 GHz network. And while the monitor can connect directly to your phone if you're close to it, it's nice to be able to check in on the status of my pool from anywhere. The last step to finish setting up the echo monitor is to perform a manual test strip analysis. Just line up the colors on the test strip with the colors in the app and you'll be ready to start adding chemicals based on its recommendations. Now I also wanted to mention that while you can use your own chemicals, IOPool actually has a store built in within their app where you can purchase chemicals directly from them and then you can actually scan in the chemicals that you've purchased into the app and it will tell you what you have in stock in case you're getting low and need to order more, uh, which is actually really pretty convenient. Uh, now, I've been doing some comparisons of the prices that I've seen on the app out on Amazon or even at my local pool store, and surprisingly, a lot of the items here, specifically the, the chlorine, the shock, calcium increaser, were cheaper on the IO Pool app than over at my local pool store. Um, you know, so that's just something to take into consideration. They're not price gouging you here on the pool chemicals, which I really think is, um, you know, pretty nice in terms of convenience for one ecosystem. Uh, I also like that they recommend these InstaTest test strips if you do need to actually do some extra testing uh, periodically. Uh, for their actual probe. Uh, I do really highly recommend that brand. Those are 
uh, some of the only test strips that I like, uh, not only with my pool, but my hot tub as well. Um, but when you go through the, the probe and it has you make recommendations, it goes through the process just like a pool store would. So it's going to have you uh, increase your calcium if you need to uh, for that hardness so that it doesn't potentially uh, damage your pumps with um, you know softened water and then it will have you uh, test for your alkalinity and increase that if necessary because your alkalinity is going to affect your pH which will affect the effectiveness of your chlorine um, you know you can purchase pH up and down for once you get the alkalinity adjusted I do like that they offer a granular shock in case you do have an algae outbreak for whatever reason. Maybe you're gone from your pool for a specific period of time and you need to shock it to kill off that algae. Um, you know, that's good to have on hand as well as their actual chlorine tabs, which are stabilized. So you don't have to worry about adding in an extra stabilizer. That chlorine will last in the pool a little bit longer than non-stabilized chlorine tablets so overall pretty convenient that they do offer the chemicals that will work with their system and everything is suggested just based on this scooper so once you know the size of your pool uh, you can just add chemicals to the pool based on the recommendations within the app so we'll keep testing out these chemicals as we're focusing on the pool here um, in the next couple days and I'll tell you some of my final thoughts after. Now, I wanna be honest with you guys. I have a small pool and it isn't too hard for me to come out and use a test strip or two. I've gotten used to that over the past year or so and I know that I can maintain the pool that way. But what surprised me the most after using this for a couple weeks is the lack of anxiety that I have over keeping track of the pool chemicals. I'm not thinking about when do I need to go out and test the pool? Did I put in the proper amount of chemicals or anything like that? Since I've set this up, uh, I've been getting the occasional notification that, hey, you need to throw in some extra chemicals. Just the other day, I got a notification that my chlorine levels were low and I came out and I checked my floater that I had here. And in fact, I had almost run out of chlorine tabs. And so I was able to throw in a couple extra and not have to worry about missing out on an application or treatment like that and coming back home to a green pool. So having that peace of mind, I think is really the benefit of something like this uh, and that convenience that comes along with it without having to travel back and forth to the pool store. So if you're looking for that extra peace of mind or convenience and not having to do all the pool chemical calculations, I really think one of these smart monitors may be for you and you should really check one out. So I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in a product like this. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more tips and reviews in the future. So that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully I'll see you all on the next one.